truth is the boaties are a breed apart. When the surf's up and boats get matchsticked, there's no more dangerous occupation. The boaties have come some, some of the real characters of surf lifesaving. People like Dick Twite, Spaz Hurst and our own Daryl Eastlake. Here's Daryl with this afternoon's final, the 1990 Australian Reserve Surfboat Championship. Thanks, Lisa. You threw me in with some pretty rough company there, I'll give you the tip. And Spaz Hurst, Keith Hurst in hospital on the uh, northern New South Wales coastline around the Ballina area. Spaz, if you're watching, we uh, think of you here, my boy. Australian Championship, not really with you. Without you, I mean. Okay. Crews are moving in now. This is the reserve surf boat final. North Narrabeen, Bull Eye, North Cronulla B, Collaroy Red. That's only depicting the fact that they've had more than one crew in this division. Northcliffe and Southport B. Now, we started with 132 crews, and we're down to the final six. Bull Eye would be one of the favourites here. Their A crew in the open was expected to do very well, are eliminated. There's Northcliffe out of Queensland. Away, straight in and rowing. Good even start too. Bulleye getting away with a nice even pull there. There's Collaroy pulling away also very well. Heading into the break now. Let's see, there's not too much coming, but there is a lump on the left-hand side of this field that will hit some of the boats. Watch it now. You'll see the wave building up. North Cronulla pulling away very nicely, setting the rhythm down. Bang. They hit it first. Bang. They take a bit of water. The boat's on the right-hand side or the top end of your screen, certainly getting the favourable draw there, not getting hit at all. Now, they asked for a big 20 strokes to get through that first final uh, section there to get through the white water. They've done that now. They'll settle the rating down and get very long. You'll see the rowers leaning back really pulling on plenty of power this is a six minute effort and believe you me it takes everything out of you the sweeps urging their strokes on here comes bullay into picture now setting themselves up terry brown their sweep urging them on they didn't get the best of starts they need to come back now steve swain has got the north cronulla b crew out in front but terry brown pushing bullay uh, very very hard here See them rowing along. There's the North Cronulla crew just on the top part of the picture. Bulleye starting to move pretty well here. And these two crews now, I think, are starting to move away from the rest of the field. These boats, some 26 foot long, they weigh a lot of pounds, and it's very, very hard to pull them in this water. With a fully full crew on the boat, they'll weigh something like about half a ton. And you've got the guys doing it just the hard way, blood, sweat and tears. We call it the Department of Shipping and Transport. What they do is they started with a rating at around 38 to 40 going through the break. They're settled down now to about 28 to 32 strokes. This is where timing is most important. They've just got to work together, keep the boat level, keep the boat just moving, moving smoothly through the water, no stop start. Dog fight going on out on the ocean here off North Wollongong Beach as we look at the reserve boats going here now. Bulleye, we expected them to go well. Their A crew was eliminated. They won the state championship but the B crew want the Australian titles. You can see the bows there pulling through. The bowmen have got to search for the water because the, the boat is moving around. So all of the time they've got to adjust the level of the arms as you see them pull through. Good shot there as you saw the bowmen trying to find the water. Every stroke, every stroke's important here. Bulleye now moves slightly ahead of North Cronulla. But this is a magnificent race here. The turn, very, very critical. Now, when we get to the turning cans, you'll see two of the crew dig in. Two will continue to row. The sweep will actually turn full circle and try and lift the stern of the boat right around as they go around the can and back to full race speed. Then it's the runs on the way home. Coming up to the cans. Watch the action here. We'll put you in the boat. Bull I go around. Second, third stroke, and they're up and rowing. Very, very good turn. Came out a little bit wide. Why don't we get a picture of how they're going? They're a long way out here in the murk. Hard to see where, where they are in line. There's the cans for you. So, Bulleye getting a good advantage out of that. Now they're starting to get the run. You can see they've dropped off the boat, as we call it, a dead boat. Very heavy. You've got to wait for the next one. There it is now. They put the accelerator down. If they can stay that one run in head. That's where the difference is. North Canada fighting back. What a good race this is. This is a fantastic race. And North Narra being swept by Donnie McManus in the white caps. They're also in there too. 
North Cronulla now giving it everything they've got. Steve Swain saying, go for it, boys. There's one gold medal at the end of this race, and look how close it is. What they're looking back at is about 12 months of damn hard work. They've worked in a the gym. They've probably got a coach for, for their style. They've also done hours and hours of hard work, all for this 200 metres. Yes, there's no doubt about that. You row miles and miles and miles, let me tell you, building up your stamina up your timing and then you get into the short sprint stuff where you just row efforts for four and five minutes just for this very purpose there we go nothing in it north narrabeen coming to the picture what a run they've just had they've gone straight past bulleye well this is a dog fight now north canada get another lift they're the runs i'm talking about you've got to stay that one running ahead look at this Look at North Narrabeen now, they power through on a run. This is beautiful rowing from North Narrabeen. They're the bowlers that have come from outside, getting into the wave area now. Not much assistance, looks like it's coming. So there's a little run now, a little run now. Here they go, North Narrabeen, saying we want this one. There they are from the beach, driving down the face of it now. All advantage can come on, middle of the field. Here's a run, let's see if we can pick it up. North Narrabeen trying to pull down the face, but oh, on the other side, both on. North Cronulla now coming down over there. You see the yellow oars. The North Cronulla crew stepped by Steve Swain. Over this little way they go, and it's magnificent. Steve Swain holding the boat nice and steady, left him in the seats. He takes out the reserve boat final with a magnificent row. Comes over first, North Narrabeen. Look, at, there they are, the boys from North Cronulla. They've been there before and won these sort of championships. And a fantastic row from North Narrabeen. What an effort they put in. They really powered past Bulleye, but it's North Cronulla's gold medal. Well, there we go. More action to come yet. Don't worry about that from North Wollongong. We'll take a break, get a breath, and we'll be back. <laughs>